Back in 2018, I heard that Ford was actually talking about bringing back the nameplate Maverick. The 2022 Ford Maverick is the smallest pickup in their line. And today, we're gonna play around with this. Back in the 70s, we knew the Maverick as a passenger car, but Ford has basically abandoned the passenger car market other than the Mustang, so we knew that this may possibly be a pickup truck or an SUV. And indeed it is. Looking at the design of the Maverick, it really has nothing to do with the original passenger car from the 70s. It's its own animal. But you can get a 2 liter or a 2.5 liter power plant. Basically it's 191 horsepower to 250 horsepower. If you get a tow package, you can tow up to 4,000 pounds. Without the tow package, it's 2,000 pounds. And it doesn't have four-wheel drive, but you can get the all-wheel drive with the EcoBoost model. Now, I look at it and I think, you know, it's not four-wheel drive. If you want to make this look like a rugged car, there are some parts already being made by Air Design, and you can make it look like an off-road vehicle. I don't want to do something that somebody else is doing, so I'm going to look at this as a passenger car, and I want to see how I can bring it down and make it look aggressive for the street. Start sketching. What I've done so far is I've just drawn the basic shape of the vehicle and now I'm playing around with what I would do with it. You know, wider fender flares that are bolt on, maybe a hood scoop, some different lights, uh, something that makes this look like it's ready to be aggressive on the street or possibly go onto the track. So I've got a basic line drawing of the car and the modifications that I'm going to make to it. This is a rough sketch. I'm going to overlay this on a piece of vellum, and then I'm going to do the sketch. But, uh, you know, it's interesting as I look at each of the components on this truck, you discover some of the design cues that they've used. And there's some little detail in the door that I didn't even see in any of the other photos other than this one that's reminiscent of the F-150, the way that window line steps up but it's not the window line. It's just a very subtle sheet metal treatment. It's pretty cool. I like it.
But you can see I've got the line drawing done and I'm ready to put some color on it. But basically, I'm gonna make the wheels look as if they're moving, so I'm not spending time on designing a new wheel for the truck. But I want kind of a road race look, so I've added some ground effects, I've added a hood scoop, changed the, you know, the below the front bumper, that front fascia, added some lights up there, and basically the rest of the truck is all stock. But we're just gonna play around some color and I'm gonna go ahead and do kind of a Shelby stripe treatment to the off the hood and down on the front fascia. I would do the same thing on off the tailgate. I don't know if I'd go across the top. What I think I would do at the top is the colored panel, I would black it out. Just leave that whole windshield to back glass looking like it's just all glass and let the top go away. Let's throw some color on it, see what we got. There we go. That's our Ford 2022 Maverick. Well, what I did is I took the basic Maverick and I made a ground effects kit, bigger wheels, slammed it down. Of course, I don't know what the suspension is underneath this. I don't know how I could get it this low. It may involve some cutting, but I think it'd be worth it. Add a little bit of graphics, change the lower front fascia as well as the uh, a wing and a scoop. And I kept everything in that satin black where it could look like the plastic cladding that's on the stock truck, just make all those pieces look exactly the same. Now, this is just a concept sketch. You know, whether the hood scoop is real, of course I'd love to make it all real, but if you're just trying to make something that looks cool for the street, it doesn't have to be real. If I were building it, I would wanna make everything that's here functional. You know, the intakes on the front fascia would actually cool the brakes, the scoop would work, get some cool air, fresh air into that motor, may add a little more horsepower, and the rest of the ground effects are to give that illusion of the vehicle being a little lower than it may actually be. You may look at the color scheme and think Shelby. I look at it and I think Ford. White with blue, that's a Ford concept vehicle all the way. We could even do this. You know, I've already signed it, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to add a little bit of graphic into this stripe, so I'm adding this even after I did the drawing. When you're working on concept sketches, Sometimes you don't know when you're finished or you don't know when to stop. I actually like that. I think it's pretty cool. Whether it said Ford or Maverick, either one would work. Clearly, this is not your grandfather's Maverick from the 70s that we all remember. This is 2022.